All right, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. Welcome to a live broadcast. That's right, we're live around the world today. And in today's live broadcast, I'm going to show you how to install a fiberglass septic tank. So let's get straight into this. So here we go. Here we've got um, a digger in the garden somewhere could be anywhere right but the point is the first thing that you need to do right with the digger is to dig a hole so i must warn you first of all that the hole for these onion tanks is quite big that's another name for a fiberglass septic tank is an onion tank so the first thing as i said is you need to dig a hole so let's dig a hole there you go so that's the hole dug now Onion tanks, as I said, can vary in size. So typically, man alive, they start off about 10, 11 feet in height. So we're just going to deal with one of those, okay? Um, because it just keeps everything really simple. So once you've dug the hole, the next thing to do is to lower or put the um, onion tank into the hole. So there we go. So there it is in the ground. Now... Because fiberglass septic tanks are really light, all right, there's two dangers, two um, things that you have to look out for. Number one, if you hit them with the digger bucket, it will puncture them and ruin the tank. So be very, very careful when you're lifting it into the hole. Number two, they're very, very light. So that means if there's a bit of rain, the concrete tank will pop up, right? from the hole above the grass. So the reason I say that is because one of the first things that you need to do is to put an anchor around it. All right, so what do I mean by anchor? Well, if you look here, this is an anchor system. All right, now the anchor itself consists of um, like a concrete lintel, and this is held on by straps. You can see the straps here, and basically, this is designed to stop the septic tank basically uh, popping up out of the ground because as i said if they pop up out of the ground oh man it can be one heck of a job so you, you come back to site next morning whoa what's going on the tanks on the lawn right so this anchor system stops it anchors it down stops it from rising up if there's a lot of water in the surrounding soil or it rains overnight typically they'll cost you anywhere from three four hundred pounds okay so once you've done that the next thing to do is to put the concrete around now the concrete is the most expensive bit about the concrete tank people buy uh, about the fiberglass tanks people buy fiberglass tanks because they're cheap they think oh great cheap tank i'll get, I'll get a cheap dub job done doesn't work like that you've got to figure in factor in another thousand pounds for the concrete so let me show you what it's like with the concrete in all right so once you've put the tank into the hole there um, as i said you've now got to put the concrete in so it's done it in two halves like so all right so the concrete will basically encase the entire tank all right so this basically stops it popping out the ground. So if I just cut it in half there, there you go. So that's a cross section of what it looks like once it's been concreted. And um, typically it will take you man alive about a couple of days to concrete it in. Number one, you've got to keep it pressed down with a digger bucket while you put the concrete around it. Then you've got to wait about two days for it to set. So once you've put the um, concrete around the tank, what next? Well, the next thing to do, if I can just get this uh, up here, if I can just zoom out, is to dig a hole for your soak away. So let's dig a hole. So there you go. So here is the pipe that leads from the onion tank into uh, the uh, basically what is called a soak away pit. And all that you literally need to do is fill that pit with gravel with shingle and when you've done that it looks something like that so if I just zoom out now 
let me just zoom out okay so bear with me a second right technology is never my strong point but once it's in the ground okay your onion tank should look something like this so if i just take away the cross section for a minute there you go so that's what it looks like once you've put it in so then obviously you would then extend uh, this pipe here which would go towards the house and um, don't forget you would have extended if i just get the shingle out obviously you've got an extended pipe there which um, i've already put on for illustrative purposes which would go into the soak away so there you have it that's basically how to install a fiberglass septic tank it typically it will cost you um oh man alive so whatever the tank costs you you've got to add at least a thousand pounds for the con uh, for the concrete in this instance i've shown you a soak away pit nine times out of ten it would be some kind of different drain drainage field drainage field crates or herringbone system but i've just tried to keep it really simple and in in focus so you can see how to put the fiberglass tank in so listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today if you'd like to see more videos then all you need to do is go to septic tank tv on google you'll see more free videos like this or visit my actual website which is septictank.co.uk again you'll see more free videos like this so listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today you take care and I'll speak to you soon.